everybody, how are you guys doing? Hi, I'm Tragic Loss, and we are doing some more warplanes today. I have a uh, lucky lady, aka the Era, Era Bonita, and we also have Sir Beatshead in the flight with us. So, I have a, I have a buddy to fly into battle with. that the oh there we go hello scott kirk what's up how are you doing all right battle starts in one let's go soon tm yeah it's it's basically like it's not actually like our trademark but at this point it's at least at the very least it is a saying we have here at here at wargaming here at wargaming and a so how are your guys' day going? Mine's going, eh, it's kind of a chill day. It's been, uh, been interesting. I had a really nice lunch. It was very delicious, though. Hello, MK Lobby. What's up? Ha! I don't know what you're laughing at. I'm glad you laughed. It's always good to laugh. It's actually, like, healthier to laugh. So, you are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Get ready for action. Oops. Let's go. Oops. Wait, is that guy on the enemy team? Alright. We're going. been adjusted down. How does it sound now? Better? Okay. Hello, Michael Paps. What's up? How are you? Okay. Um, for one, we need to, we, we only need one more kill over here. I believe. Oh, we already took it. Neat. Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna defend th this. Because we need to defend it. Man, these things are really strange. You're right, they are. It sounds good? Alrighty, neat. But yeah, uh, Monopoly Man. Uh, this is this is World of Warplanes. Uh, we actually... So, this is World of Warplanes 2.0. I know it says 2.0. Uh, it's, uh, it's really fun. I really enjoy it. Um, it, <laughs> before the update, it was, uh, a much different game. Much, much different game. Um, but with the new 2.0, there's a lot more to do, and it is a lot more re rewarding to be flying to each point. Okay, that guy hasn't died, but I think it should be fine. Oop. 
I just realized I don't have my hotkeys or my settings right. Oh, nobody has shot at these guys. Battleship California. The threat to the complex eliminated. Way to go. And Piccolo Dragon? What? You usually avoid the bomber flight. I mean, to be fair, it's like uh, it's pretty important to get at some points, but um, other times it's not worth it. Ah, you got me. Too many bots attack the bombers, I think that needs adjustment. I mean, probably. Like, I've definitely seen just, like, swarms before, which is really weird, and I think that it would be a nice change. Hey, Megatarts, what's up? Hey, the nerd cop. I'd love to try it again. I was rather decent and had a great time. You should definitely try it out again. Hey, what's up, Goliath? How are you? I have a question. I played a bit ago. There, there was a patch which completely changed gamepad controls, and I couldn't play any dot idea if that was reversed. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, you should definitely see what has changed. Like, uh, I can show you some of the controls that are in the game now. It's definitely, um, at this point, it's a little bit more uh, player friendly. It's definitely uh, more arcade versus, oh, they took this. Okay. So at this point, I don't know why this guy is, like, following me. Same with this guy. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna win anyways. Oh, well. Uh... <laughs> the Type 59G and the M60 tanks? Uh, no, you actually have to message Meathead Militia. Uh, for M60 codes. As for the Type 59G, um, I would say uh, probably. I think I think that uh, Q actually has those codes no for the uh, Type 59G. Yeah, Cuma Pueblos. Pe Pueblos. Definitely message him in game. Okay, how did? No, 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 guys, guys, are you serious? I die for five minutes and we've almost lost. Attention all aircraft. Fall How? How did that happen? What? 
Oh, uh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, we tried. I don't know how we lost those points. I, like, died for a moment, and we lost. Oh, rip. Were people just focusing heavily on something that they shouldn't have been? Oh, well. What tiers am I flying today? Uh, I'm currently flying tier 5, uh, partially because uh, I'm pretty good in tier 5, and I can do pretty consistently. Um, but as well, uh, I'm actually trying to grind XP and credits for World of Tanks, so... <laughs> so I don't have to be sunk by her. Nah, I'm not playing, uh... Um... Uh... Nah, I feel like- I, I like- I like this plane. Squad, as in like a flight in in planes. I I I don't know if that's in the works currently, but um, I do know like when there was uh three person flights, it used to be really difficult to uh to combat that, and so I think they took out uh three person flights because it was a little bit overpowered. bombers. Like, I've I've played the bombers and they're actually pretty fun. Um, like, but you definitely need someone, like, I would say if you're gonna play a bomber, you should probably have someone in a flight with you, because um, like, bombers can't really defend themselves besides for, like, their rear gunner, but if like, there's a box for your rear gunner and he can't fire outside of that box, which means, like, if they're anywhere outside of that, you're kind of wrecked which kind of stinks. Hello, John Griffin, how are you? Uh, do most people configure a joystick for this game or use mouse and keyboard? Play ships uh, now on keyboard and mouse and been thinking about this one. Uh, so far, from what I've heard, um, there are some people that use a joystick, but that's also like people who are really good at using a joystick. Um, as far as I know, uh, most people play or have been playing with mouse and keyboard. Um, it's a lot easier to learn on mouse and keyboard, personally, like for me. Um, but I definitely would like to see how the uh, joystick gameplay is. Alright, so we're gonna go to the command center because we need that first. Um, and then... Yeah, we, we need the... we need... we need... We need hey, it's Battleship Cali... California, he was he was in the last match. Ice Dragon. Oh, it's Ice Dragon. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. No worries, Steve. No worries. Like it's it's really more up to preference. I would definitely say if you have a joystick, uh, try it out. But if you don't, then don't just buy one specifically for this game. Um, it it really depends. Like I haven't I haven't played it with a joystick, mostly because like I don't have one currently. I can try it out, but um we'll see. We'll see how. We'll see what do. to kill one more of these guys, and there he is. Kill him. There we go. Oh, why am I still getting shot at by that ship? Thank you. Okay. Oh, they took that? Okay. Guess we took these. Alright. Neat.
come on. Ah, uh, mm, raptor. Pretty good. Um. Oh, war game. Three to two people. I mean, like most planes are like in this game fit only two people as far as I knew as far as I know how did they what do they have both command centers no how did they take this one I guess nobody's defending it oh well you use joystick exclusively oh, okay so um yeah. <laughs> like it like I said, I believe it's up to preference, but most people do play uh mouse and keyboard, so it's uh it's definitely something to think about. Okay, we really need to take this back. Okay, now we now we should really just defend this because this kind of guy. Oh, he's boosting out of here. Okay. There's Raptor coming in. No, 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 no. Yeah. Avenged. This guy is just dropping bombs on everything. He's also boosting out of the circle, so he's not worth it to chase. He's out of the circle, it's not worth it to chase him until he comes back. He did the bomb the heck out of two of our spots, though. Which kind of stinks. That's fine. Look at that group right there. Okay. We, ri we need to... Where's the map? I need the map! We need to defend this, please. Please defend. Like, really? Else we'll lose it again. We're gonna lose it again. War child. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I was out sick the other day, which was unfortunate. Um, I I had cat scratch fever, uh, which really sucked. 
It's not fun having cat scratch fever. I don't zoom in. I mean, there's times where you should zoom in, and then uh, times where it doesn't make sense to. And it's all, like, mo most of it's preference, but I feel like I, um, I don't really need to use this view unless I really need to. Most of the time I'm fine just using the third person view. Because we're gonna we're gonna lose this unless we cap two points, and that's not gonna happen. So basically, at this point, it is get as much XP as you can. Like unless our team can cap another point. Which I doubt, because I think uh, there's only been a couple people who are actually focusing on capping points. And for some reason, it's me. Come on. Ooh, that's Raptor. Okay, I'm gonna die from Spitfire. Yeah. Mm. I am feeling a lot better, definitely. I use zoom for long range cannon shots. Help take out engines and rear gunners. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I mean, probably, yeah, definitely. Ooh, thank you for the follow, Airwave 2K2. What's up? Uh. <laughs> but yeah. You really hate the kamikaze ram thing? Yeah, yeah, same. Like it's really I don't I don't like that a lot of bots um <laughs> hey Raptor. Uh I don't like that a lot of bots um ram. It, it's kind of a weird thing. Um ugh, I need to do I need to do better. I think I've been doing kinda of bad, yeah. I swear I did pretty good though. Okay. Um uh, yeah, let's continue in this because I kinda wanna get my two times in it. Uh Killing planes is much faster. Yeah, planes is definitely, like, if I were to compare planes to uh, tanks and, like, warships, planes is definitely probably the faster of all of the games. You definitely need to, um, th they're definitely very quick games. But on top of that, like, you need to have really good spatial awareness for this kind of stuff. Um, I mean, uh, you do in, like, basically all of the other games, but especially in this one because you have so many people on different axes where it's just like, okay, this guy is above me, and then I also have like two guys below me, and then I have a teammate to my right, and then behind me is another enemy. It's definitely like really difficult to keep track of a lot of things, but once you get the hang of it, it's just like, okay, I can kind of understand. Uh, so, um, it depends on the situation, dead meat. Like, most of the time, like, I am playing a, uh, a fighter. So fighters generally are supposed to defend, which is why I've been going back and forth, uh, between a couple of points trying to defend. Um, but it gets really difficult, um, when people don't coordinate. So if you don't coordinate... Uh, capping points and then going back and forth between them to defend, then you're gonna either um, lose your points, you're gonna lose all of the all of the bases that you've capped uh, to bots, because bots tend to go to one point all the time, but players can use um, the uh, the where bots go to to kind of push and to uh, take bases away from the enemy team. Uh, you guys kind of saw in the first game, we had all of the points at one point, and then we lost all of them because our team was very uncoordinated and didn't defend any of the points. Like, I was going back and forth trying to def defend all of the points, and at some point I died, and then I died again, second time in a row, and we lost all the points at one point. 
Um, when it comes to capping points, though, it's easier to kill um, planes to cap points. Like, if you're taking back a point, um, and, like, if you're taking a point back, you really want to kill the bots, and you can also kill the AA defense. Um, and then from there, it depends on if there are any neutrals left, or if there are any enemy planes left. Um, planes take a lot less to kill, but you also don't want to die in the point. Because if you die in the point, then you lose a lot of the progress that you've made. Yeah, I, I tend to look at my minimap pretty often, which is why you see me pulling it up all the time. Like, currently, there's not too many people at this point. We're all- we're basically gonna cap this point real fast, because there's a lot of us going this way. But after that, like, I don't know what our team's gonna do. I'm gonna basically just fly back and forth and help defend the points that we already have. Ooh. So we've capped this, now we should probably go to this factory because it's a really important point to take. Um, I need to help defend my teammates as well. Uh, kind of, like, uh, like there, there's more types of aircrafts than there are uh, types of tanks, I believe. Because there are bombers, there are attack... Uh, aircraft, there's heavy fighters, there's regular fighters, you also have multi-role uh, fighters as well. Um, it gets quite uh, overwhelming at some points. So I need to help defend my teammates, which is why killing some of these heavy fighters would be good. There we go. And there's this guy over here. I'm gonna turn this way. Gonna a couple more shots on him and then we're gonna turn around. gonna come back down on him. There we go. Nice. Okay. See, now this point is back to neutral and we need to kill buildings because there are no uh, neutrals left. Um, so that makes it a little bit difficult. Um, I'm gonna start going this way. Why is there just like a swarm of things over here? You gotta help out your teammates, yo. I think this guy is like almost. I think he died. Help defend my buddies. That guy's leaving. So we've taken this point, but now we don't need to defend it. Battleship California really wants to kill me. Oh, there's this guy. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, a fighter doesn't usually take out buildings. Uh, I don't have any bombs and I don't have any rockets, so that would make it really difficult. I would actually have to shoot individual buildings. Uh, So I'm gonna get out because I'm 
my stuff's overheated. And as well, I don't have the positioning to get a lot of hits on this guy before I kill him. Really? That guy... Oh, that was really close. Oh boy. They're gonna take that point. They're just gonna take that, honestly. Maybe? There's a lot of them here. It will be difficult if they... don't take it... to clear them out. Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead right now. Yeah. There's a heavy storm here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Do you copy? Yeah. And I died right after the squall line. Uh, I don't know if there's a leaderboard, Victory unfortunately. Explosion effects are great. Nice. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Fem logged off and is done streaming. No worries. I mean, I'm still gonna play uh, Warplanes, though. Hey, Hubert! What's up? Dang, Angry Chill! 50,000 battles? Nice! That's a lot of battles. When it comes to ground targets, uh, the triangle or the AA? Yeah, so... You can take out buildings, it's just a lot more difficult for fighters to take out any parts of the buildings because, like, it, for one, you should probably be helping out your teammates by uh, using your maneuverability because fighters and, like, multi role fighters are generally more maneuverable than heavy fighters and attack aircraft. Uh, attack aircraft, uh, they can have, like, bombs and they can have rockets. Um, so they generally are the ones that are destroying the uh, buildings on cap. So. What's up, you? Uh, Black Hawk. So when there were three person uh, flights, they tended to... Um, I believe they tended to, to dominate the battle, which means like if there was a three-person flight on the other team, uh, it's a lot more difficult because three people coordinated is really difficult to counter, uh, whereas two pe people coordinated, you can kill both of them, um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's more of a, of a uh, restriction per skill. Ooh, this was a pretty good game. I got a lot of XP on that one. Neat. Alrighty, we're gonna keep going with this plane. No, yeah, like I said, they it, they can dominate a battle, which is why you know it, it's it, like I don't I don't think I think two in a flight is fine. I think two in a flight is fine is fine. Yeah, so at the lower tiers, which are the ones that I'm playing, it's easy to take a s it's easy to take him over by killing the air defense fighters, but as soon as all of the air defense fighters are gone and you still haven't taken it, then it's no longer effective for you to be in that zone. So generally if there are no airplanes in the area and you're a fighter, you shouldn't be there anymore because it's more difficult for you to take that sector. Because, yeah. No worries, you're, you're allowed to have your opinion, uh, Angry Chili. Uh, 
Uh, I actually think we should take this first. <laughs> We've been in like the same battles as Battleship California. Show me what you can do, pilots. Let's roll. We're gonna be at this level. Yeah, no worries. Like I like this uh, stream is here so that you guys can voice your opinions, and like we can talk about things. It, it's one of the reasons why uh, I like streaming is because we can discuss stuff, and like people can have their own opinions. Um, but like I said, um, three-person flights are are really dominating in a battle. Leroy Jenkins. Come on. I don't care if my gun is overheated. Okay. This guy needs to die. Kuzma. There we go. Now we've taken the sector, and this guy should die. A rocket has reached the target. Enemy objects damaged. Yeah, okay. I think I should probably stay close to this area to defend mostly from like attack f crafts like this guy. And where's this guy? Okay. Why is Leroy back? Get out of here, Leroy. We don't we don't need you here, sir. Let's stay out of here. Oop, I'm stalling. basically stay here and defend because this is a really heavily contested point for good reason by the way Go this way I think Kuzma is a bot he just comes back this way the bots just like keep coming back this way Okay, I I wonder if that's just like a tactic. Dude, definitely. I mean, uh so what up? Um hey, <laughs> that's funny to say. Um overall, like planes definitely isn't in the final iteration and this is only the first part of uh, you know, many updates that will hopefully continue to improve the game. So 
do not fret. There are definitely going to be incoming uh, updates and lot, lots more fun. Lots more fun to be had. So do not, do not worry, young, young uh, pilot. See, now we have to capture this base, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack these. Because I can help take these out, and it'll make it a little bit easier because that lessens all of the AA fire that's coming down on our team. That one's already down. Oh wait, no it's not. taken out. Still need to kill that one. Okay, that one's done. Where is this coming from? Where am I getting shot from? Here. There's one. That's down. We have okay. Way to go. Uh, Mars, I believe we've been uh, tweeting out uh, about our streams that happen. Uh, there's about three streams that happen every single week. Uh, one's by Chieftain, one I believe is Meathead, and I do the third stream. So. Uh, I did not dead me. I, I'm definitely, there are some uh, comments that I've missed, so I apologize. Um, I've been kind of focused on doing the thing. Dude, no worries, Angry Chili. I definitely understand that people have, you know, their differing opinions, which is why I try to tell people uh, facts Victory instead of are. trying to say, like, this is right, this is correct. Um, I like to, I like to you know, be uh, more open to other people's opinions, but I definitely think, like, in my opinion, uh, three-person flights would be really difficult to counter, especially uh, in this uh, current iteration of warplanes. Um, yeah. Um... Uh, sorry, I'm scrolling through some of the comments again. Yeah, like, this update has been a long time coming, and I, I genuinely have been enjoying uh, Warplanes a lot more, and on top of that, um, I'm not currently accepting invites, guys. Um, I've definitely been enjoying Warplanes a lot more. Like, I used to play it way long time ago, and I'm glad that, you know, the player base has been kind of revitalized. There are a lot of people coming back to the game. There are a lot of people that are currently playing the game. It's a lot. It's a lot smoother now uh, to 
hop into Warplanes as a game and just start playing, so. Uh, maybe Angry Chili, we'll see, won't we? Uh, I, I still haven't seen what your comment was, Deadmeat. My opinion is that I like you. Aw, thank you, Deadmeat. I appreciate that. Um, what else? Um, dude, Sniper, this is a super fun game. Like, um, I I'm sorry, your, your PC can't play it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, definitely, what up? Like, oh, hey. So, just to preface, I already know Nistro, so. He's already my friend in World of Tanks. <laughs> Warplanes is a great game. Like, going from what it was before, um, it's definitely improved a lot, and I hope and I genuinely think that it'll continue to improve. Um, it's a lot... It's really nice to to have Warplanes as a game that's connected with World of Tanks in that you can share uh, free XP and stuff like that. So any of the tanks players that are possibly in the chat, I highly recommend, like, if you're trying to grind stuff and you have premium, uh, premium planes or if you want to grind free XP, planes is a great place to grind XP. Like, that last battle we won, I didn't do, like, super great. But it wasn't, it wasn't a two times and I still got like 2,000 XP. It's a great place to be grinding uh, XP and credits. Yeah. Uh, consistent schedule. Yeah, we're, we're basically on a consistent schedule at this point. Um, there's a lot of uh, external streamers that we have uh, for like World of Tanks and World of Warplanes. Or sorry, World of Tanks and like World of Warships. Uh, hopefully we'll be adding more streamers as well, so we'll see. Uh... I mean, probably Blackhawk. Uh, I mean, there there's definitely a lot of life left in um, Warplanes, especially since the update. It's definitely improved greatly, and so you can probably expect to see, you know, once there's a lot of uh, revamping that has been uh, finished, that you'll see uh, more plain tech trees added that aren't just like random premiums in the tech tree that you can buy. So definitely watch out for those. It'll be it'll be nice. It'll be fun. Oops. Ah! I forgot I still haven't done my keybinds. Where is this last plane? Uh, there. I wish you could point out these planes because it's really difficult to see them sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Finally. That took a little bit too long. But at this point we can kind of defend a little bit. Um, because there is, for one, there's already somebody coming in uh, from this direction down there, and it is a bomber. <coughs> right? Yeah, that's a bomber. No, he's not. He's... What? What? What was that? Oh, hi. I have somebody on my tail. Can you go away, please? Thanks. I had no one around. That's fine. Ugh. Sorry, is, is, is the sound really low for you guys? I can, like, possibly turn up the, uh, the volume for you, if it is. Oh, okay. It's clear? Okay. That's good. I'm glad. Alright, um, we still need to continue to, to defend this because that's going to be really heavily contested. Like, we have more people over here, which is fine. We just have to have enough the people to defend um, the command center uh, because the more times... So, one tactical advantage that you can do if you have enough, uh, uh, like, what is the word? If you pay attention well enough, uh, if you're about to die and you leave a sector, 
die outside the sector, because if you die inside the sector, you lose out on a lot of points. You lose out on, I believe, like 20% of the points whenever you die. And that's like a huge chunk. So the more often you die inside a sector that you own, or even a sector that you don't own, uh, the more likely you are to lose that point. So it, it definitely pays to pay attention to your health. Uh, in game and to pay attention to sometimes even like your buddy's health because then you can be like hey like you're about to die like you should probably leave the sector so we don't lose like 20% of the points we just got or something like that sounds good okay cool that's awesome that's awesome glad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, Fem has gotten sick a couple times, and I believe some people got sick from her uh, after LBT, uh, or Let's Battle to uh, for those of you who don't know that uh, acronym. Uh, ooh, these people are coming into this sector trying to, or maybe they're just swarming over there, which is really weird. Cool. Oh, this poor guy's getting chased. By a heavy fighter? Uh, 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 uh. Hello. I'm not, I'm not worth gold. should also always try and help your flight mates because it's better to have two people who are focused on defending each other's butts than to have nobody to defend anybody. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I actually really appreciate uh, Warplane's semi-arcade slash simulation style because it gives people who aren't like incredible at games the ability to hop into this game and even get good at it. Get good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, killing neutral planes first uh, to capture the point is incredibly important because that is the quickest way to cap a point is just by killing a couple of planes or even a few planes. And then from there, uh, like, obviously if a point gets captured by the enemy team, you want to kill the enemy team, uh, I guess, we'll call them like, uh, uh, I'm they're, they they tend to stay in that sector, and so you kill those first to cap a point, uh, while w whilst trying not to die, and then from there you can kind of uh, whittle down uh, any uh, remaining players that are possibly defending it, and it's really easy to actually like cap and keep a point as long as you know, <laughs> as long as you're defending the point that you're on, you know. You really gotta defend a point. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that is just about the end of the stream. I thank you guys for coming. Uh, it's been really awesome. I appreciate those of you who are on Facebook. Thank you for sticking around. Same with you guys over here on Twitch. I appreciate you guys all for joining. Uh, tomorrow is Warships Live and also the Tanks console stream. Haven't done a Tanks console stream mostly because uh, we haven't uh, had the chance to. Um, but we'll have it tomorrow hopefully um anyways uh warships live is tomorrow that is at noon uh 
and then uh, 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 World of Tanks console is from 3 to 4 p.m. PT, so definitely check it out. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys had a fun time. I definitely hope to see you guys uh, more often. Uh, World of Tanks, sorry. World of Warplanes is every single Thursday. I try to, uh, like I said, well, I have a regular schedule, so I basically stream every single day from 4 to 5 p.m. here at Wargaming America. So definitely check it out. It'll be really awesome. I stream every single day. You guys can find the schedules all across our social media. So if you follow World of Tanks, World of Tanks console, World of Warships, or even World of Warplanes, you guys can figure out when I'm streaming. So if you like who I am, that's really awesome. Thank you. Um, and if you just like specific games, then definitely follow that game's Twitter for any updates that we have on any of the streams, because that is where we post things first when it comes to uh, announcing some social media whatnots. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Alright, see you, Angry Chili, and all the rest of y'all in chat. I'll see you all tomorrow.